What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality TV. Okay, well, I decided to listen to the commentary by Sherelle's World just to see what she was talking about. Didn't know if the thumbnail and the title were clickbait or not, but unfortunately, it was not. And I honestly was just like, this is... <laughs> This is so miserable. I was absolutely stunned and shocked, especially being the fact that she was one of the main ones that was out here windmilling for, (laughs) well, actually, now it kind of makes sense. She was out here windmilling for Christian Rock, which I haven't heard much about that chick in a hot minute now, but someone that clearly is disturbed, someone that has clear mental health issues and has issues with being held accountable. I can't even say at this point in time that I'm I'm shocked that she is standing up for Hotel Arion's Baby Wipe Holt. She has really got it wrong and I'm just going to watch and see what happens with this because I don't follow all of these YouTubers. I don't follow all of these content creators. I'm not a Melometer, and I don't even follow everything that Melody does. But I clearly could not believe that she was out here insinuating that that last child that Melody gave birth to may not be Martell's. Even though he tried to imply that, and even though he tried to make it seem like, oh, she was out here, she getting flewed out. You know, like when he was being interviewed by Tosh K., He was trying to put this stamp of whoredom on her, which we all know is is just his way of trying to get back because he's mad that his life is in a shambles. Nobody has done anything to him more than what he has done to himself. Everything that he is going through, it is because of his own actions. It has nothing to do with Melody and it damn sure has nothing to do with people who call themselves melometers. I don't care if these people are making content about him three times a day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Honestly, if they're content creators and that's what they want to talk about and that's the subject matter that they feel that they resonate with more and also they may be getting more views and likes and comments on or whatever, it's their right to do so. Now, do I agree with anyone harassing or doxing or bullying anyone? Absolutely not. No, I don't. But to me, all of this stuff about him being the victim and Melody being painted as this saint, if you will, I think is laughable. I am never here to say that Melody is a saint and she's perfect and that I worship the ground that she walks on. There may be some people that do that, but I'm definitely not one of those. Melody is a human being that is flawed, just like each and every one of us that is capable and does make mistakes and make wrong choices and bad decisions. And one of them being giving all of these clowns that are on the show the opportunity to be a part of something that she had the idea to have come to light. I, If I were her, I would be running for the hills because this is just not it. It's not worth it. But even when he did that interview with Tasha K, which was the most recent thing that he had done, he said, that's his child. He said he has two families. He has five children. Everybody that has sense about themselves knows that if there was any doubt in his mind that that last child wasn't his, he would have been the first one having a paternity test done. And to be honest with you guys, I'm, I I said this already, I believe he probably low-key already did have one done and because the results came back that the child is his, that he did not release it. That child is nobody's but his. So to try to insinuate that the child may be 
the divorce attorneys or some attorney's child or whatever. This is just disgusting. And this is the type of stuff that got me even talking about this clown in the first place. Melody did not name this chick Coleslaw. Funky Dineva gave her that name and everybody ran with it. And I remember, I don't remember which video it was, but when I used to watch Funky Dineva's channel years ago and he was doing the reviews on Love and Marriage Huntsville, I remember specifically when he gave her that name. And not too long before he gave her that name, she reached out to him because she's been she's been trying to get attention. She's been trying to be recognized. She's been wanting to be in the spotlight. She's been wanting to be on television. She believes that who believes they deserve to be a part of a show because you was screwing someone's husband and then you had a baby out of spite when you could have had multiple children because you were pregnant on multiple occasions and you got rid of those pregnancies. And then now you decide, you know what, I'm going to keep this one. And as a matter of fact, I want my face to be on the television. And if they don't put me on, I don't want them to use my name and my likeness. Nobody is using her likeness and they damn sure didn't even use her name because they don't even say the name on the show. This is insane. And so to see that this is where people are going, it's extremely irresponsible. And to come out here and... April of 2024, <laughs> when it, how many years has it been since they have been divorced? To say Melody Cherie Rogers, LAMH, accused of cheating on Martel first, plus is another man the father. That is disgusting. And I really am interested to see where this goes. I, I cannot. When I saw it again, I said, um, this has to be clickbait. I'm not even going to watch it, but just to have the audacity to to name the video that and put these three people's faces on the thumbnail, I thought was sad. And then I had a little bit of time and I decided to listen to it as I was multitasking, as I always do, and was listening to it. And I was just shaking my head in disgust. I was like, whoa, somebody really is angry. And I think that the anger is being taken out on the wrong people because, listen, I don't know about Melody's relationships that she may have with some of these vloggers or vloggers. She may have communications with some of them just in terms of DMs or stuff like that. I don't know. But quite frankly, I really don't care. I don't think it matters because this is just not it. And nobody but him has been the one to put the battery in the back of people who already really didn't care for her, whatever their reasons may be. They may not like her voice. They may feel her voice is too squeaky. Oh, I don't like the way she sings. She's she's too cocky. She thinks she's be- like, you know, that type of superficial stuff that people will come up with for reasons as to why they don't care for someone, which is their right to do. Not everybody likes everyone and that's fine. That's okay. But to do this... He is the only one that had started all of this stuff to start giving people the ideas, thoughts, and the speculations as to, hmm, well, maybe that child really isn't his. Because we remember a couple of seasons ago when Tisha's ghetto, unfabulous mom was acting a fool outside of and inside of Destiny's now defunct, closed down store to say, go find your baby daddy. I said, you need to go find your baby daddy. (laughs) You know, like just trash. But she got that because he started saying those things. It's not something he said initially. Do you really believe in all of the arrogance and all of the cockiness that if that child was not his, that he would have been treating the child as if it was his all of this time? Absolutely not. Melody invited him to go on a trip to Destin with them. Yes, it was on camera. Yes, it was. I wouldn't say the trip was for the show. I'm quite sure she was doing a trip with the with the children, whether it was filmed for the show or not. Or it could have gotten filmed and they decided not to show it on the show. But we just happened to have seen it. I didn't see him acting up and wilding out saying, you know, I've been having these thoughts that I don't know if this child is really mine. 
I want to have a DNA test. No, he was none too happy to go down to Destin, hang out with Melody and the four kids and his mama, <laughs> okay? All expenses paid, didn't chip in a dime to help out with anything, like most losers. And I didn't hear him questioning the paternity of the child then, right? It's all good when it's beneficial for you, but then when she's holding him to account, then it's an issue. The police would not have charged, put a warrant out for his arrest, and ultimately arrested his butt if there were no grounds for it to be done. Melody does not have favor with the Huntsville Police Department, Madison County, or whatever it's called. I don't know. She doesn't have that type of pull for them to just go and arrest him because I'm mad at this nigga and I want him locked up. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. So he's upset with him, with his actions, with himself. And he is going through all of these routes to try to get some get back. He got mad because he got arrested. So he went to Tasha K to do a sit down. And all he did was try to trash her. Tasha K attempted to do an interview. If you watched it, she tried. But all it was for him was a smear campaign. I'm not going to say anything else about her. She tried. She was like, so, you know, what attracted you to her? Like, what, you know, I'm not saying nothing nice about her. It, 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 everything with him is now about revenge. This is why it's so dangerous. He is a psychopath, in my personal opinion, more than a narcissist. A narcissist with psychopathic tendencies. I truly believe that. Because to be in a relationship and ultimately marry this person, be with them for all of these years, have four, not three, four children that she gave birth to for this man, for her husband, not for her baby daddy, not for her boyfriend, not for her man, for her husband, and this is the man that you exchanged vows with and this is how he is behaving. This is what got me to talking about this, the, the cast of characters on this show and this monster in the first place because it has been ultimately so unbelievable for me to see in real time, to see on a television show. I know there's a whole lot of monsters out here in this world that have done a lot of terrible things. I mean, I just read a story about a young lady who lost her life they found her body parts. She met some guy on a dating app. I think they may have went to school together and they couldn't find her and, and found her body parts. Okay. A monster. So I know that there are a lot of monsters out here in this world. I get it. He is not the first and will not be the last. It's just disgusting to me because this is someone that she was married to that's doing this stuff. And the vlogger she just sounds like she's just on mad day for a number of days right now because of some stuff that was going on behind the scenes with some other content creators that she feels I uh, maybe maybe were trying to come for her channel or whatever. I don't know. I don't know all the ins and outs of that, but I know this ain't it. This is just not cool. And I really feel that it's a huge bad decision, not a mistake, a huge bad decision, especially at the point in time where we are now. Like, if you just wanted to do this as commentary at some point, you could have done this as commentary when this stuff was, it w I wouldn't even say it was relevant, but it was happening at that time. We're multiple years since she's been divorced to this man, from this man, this monster, I should say. He has continuously claimed his child. He tried to make some insinuations of her being unfaithful or cheating. And then, well, she cheated too. And now, now she cheated too. Now she cheated first. When we know that he had been constantly being unfaithful to her throughout the marriage. And so people to say, well, oh, she had a baby for him knowing that she was his wife. I don't believe that she was trying to have a child. But when you're married and you're having relations we'll just say that whether you're using protection or not it's possible that it can happen 
And I'm going to tell you, it's not even t- every time that when you are in a marriage with someone and you're not really in the best place that you even feel like doing it. Sometimes you, she's just going through the motions, but you're not even physically there. And I remember her even mentioning that. I think it was in the last reunion where they were talking about her saying that she was never really satisfied by him. For most women that have a heart, it's an emotional attachment where you are really feeling it. It's not just, you just sexy red out here, just bending it over and busting it wide open because you got to get yours too. Most women, like women, not girls and whores, most women, it's an emotional attachment. And if you have a nigga like Hotel who's been treating you like crap over and over again, it's not, you're not, physically really there you're just going through the motions and then to wind up getting pregnant when that wasn't something that you were wanting but you decide to go through with the pregnancy and bring the child into the world that's got to be hard that's one of the reasons why I admire her because I know it ain't easy I have nothing but respect for her because that's that's a lot that's a lot and so to be in this place now where you have people that are trying to make it seem like the child is not his. She was the one that was doing everything. She cheated first. So he, no, if that were the case, then why didn't he say this in the very beginning? No, it was, you don't talk about what goes on in our household. And she says, well, you should have kept your penis in the household. I didn't hear him say, well, you should have kept your pussy in ours. But seriously, This is ridiculous. I'm sorry. It's just, this is so infuriating to me, but this is what a narcissistic person with psychopathic tendencies will do. They will even years later try to flip the script to make it seem like, don't believe your lying eyes. Don't believe what you hear. It's all lies. And this is what's really going on now. Now I'm willing to tell, no. This is the same nigga that said, he was acting when he brought her flowers. Like if if this is a woman that has just been so unfaithful to him, just out here in these streets, getting flued out, like he said, having babies by other men, why would he want to get back together with her? Why would he ask her to say a prayer about them being in a better place, trying to get back with her? Seriously, you know, like, she owes him and coleslaw nothing, absolutely nothing. That chick has been so disrespectful to Melody, to Melody's family and her home, desiring what she wanted, thought she was going to get it and still don't have it. You get the you get the sorry dangling every once in a while when he feels like coming around, but he still refuses to even act like he is committed to her. It's it's just absolutely insane. I'm just so disgusted by this, and I really, oh, I was going to say I was surprised. I just didn't expect it, but seeing how she had been going up for Krishan Rock and say, I just really like mm, mm. anybody that saw it for her. They, to me, have some questionable judgment to say the least, but I digress. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are in 2024 and this is what's going on, right? So listen, we will see what comes of this. I really just am disgusted by that because Nobody is bullying Hotel. Nobody owes him any type of grace. He doesn't even give grace to himself. And everybody else is always the problem. He never looks in the mirror. He never starts with the man in the mirror to see where the issues are. It's always somebody else. Always. Gaslighting her, getting her upset, doing the things that he's done and then pulls out the phone to record to just make it seem like she's just this abusive monster that no don't do that why are you doing that and you know damn well why she's doing that
come on, don't do that. When we know, like if he, oh my God, the majority, I, I talked about it before when he did that sit down interview, I was just reading a lot of the comments from the app when people were watching it. And a lot of people who follow Tasha Gate, they don't even watch Love and Marriage Huntsville. But a a lot of the comments, the majority of them, I would say 95 to 97% of the comments, it wasn't even team melody. It was team real, team truth, team I'm not blind, team I'm not deaf. And they could see what he was doing. And they were like, no, I I don't even believe him. I could smell the lies coming through the screen, coming out of his pores, coming out of his funky armpits and his crotch area and his asshole. Like you could smell the lies. He's just ridiculous. And so uh, I'm sorry. I, I just really am. I'm just not here for that. But I just uh, I'm sorry. I, I really am like, wow. To go this far. She cheated first, and it's questionable who the child's, the last child's father is. Why, you know, if you want to go there, why not say he ain't sure about none of the kids? Like, if you really want to go there, because all of the kids look alike. You know, when he was trying to be funny to say, well, yeah, you know, she, she looks just like her mama. <laughs> he was trying to insinuate them, but he said, I have five children. So, so what are you really doing? And I just feel like those children, when they get of an age where they can make their own decisions, they're not going to want to have anything to do with him. And I couldn't blame them one bit. And that has to be extremely hard to have children with a man that one, you were married to, not just, this is my baby daddy. We screwed around once or twice or a few times. I wound up getting pregnant. Things didn't work out and we're not in a relationship and I'm angry and bitter because I thought things were going to be different and they're not. So I'm going to trash talk about him to the child or the children. But to have been married to this man, you all were living in the same household and this is who he is and this is what he's doing. And you're holding back not to say anything horrible about the dad to the children because you're not trying to sway them either way. You just want them to be able to see things for themselves. Saying things about acting as if she was trying to threaten him. You need to sign this paperwork to say that the kids can be on the television show. And if not, then I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Everything he's doing has been out of spite. He tried to take the children from her through the court system, because he wanted a check. He wanted child support. She created a product for the child. He wanted a share of the products. The court said no. Okay, then. Well, I don't want the kids to be on TV. Everything has been about spite with him. It's not what's in the best interest of the children. It's definitely not what's in the best interest of Melody. It's not even in what is in the best interest for him. Because ultimately, if the children are happy, wouldn't you think that would benefit him in some way? But no, he wants to make their lives a living hell because he's burning in the flames. And it's just crazy. I honestly, for anybody to be jealous of Melody in any way, you really have some issues because she really is going through a lot. And I I know, you know, it may look glamorous. She's beautiful. She's got a lot going on, successful with her businesses and whatnot. But there's nothing to envy or be jealous of there because to have to be attached to this scoundrel for how many more years? I'm sorry. There's nothing to envy there. I actually pity her. I pray for her. And I really hope that he gets everything that he deserves horrible coming to him because this is just not it. You don't get grace when you don't repent. Even God says you have to repent And turn from your wicked ways, not just continue to be as you are, being evil, being wicked. And oh, it's okay. I got you. Hell no. 
in hell, you open your eyes, I hope and pray, you know, because this is just ridiculous. I'm sorry. I just have to end it here because this is one of the main reasons, main reasons why I said I was not going to watch this show on the own network, this new season coming up. I'll support the other content creators, Instagrammers that share the clips of the show and stuff like that, but they will not get a rating from me, not one bit because of stuff like this, because this is the type of stuff that's being done. And I'm so tired of it. <laughs> Somebody said that the own network, uh, it's, um, OWN stands for Oppresses Women Network. And I'm starting to see that. Definitely when it comes to this, this is insane. So anyway, I just wanted to share my thoughts on this, guys. You can let me know yours in the comment section. Thanks so much for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.